What's up everybody? Books that will make you huge. This one, Anthony Bourdain Kitchen Confidential. Why? First of all, it's hilarious. It's his story, making through the New York City restaurant world. And the highest highs, the lowest lows. Like Michelin stars, bankruptcies, coke binges, unemployment, rock stars, movie stars, restaurants that were run by the mob, machine guns in the kitchen, it's all there. The chapter about this bread guy, what's his name, Adam, is hilarious, should be required reading. So it's highly, highly entertaining, okay? Yes, he committed suicide. If you want to judge him, be my guest, I won't. But you can learn a lot of from this guy, a lot of that pertains to bodybuilding, such as this guy always bounced back. Like, no matter how hard he fell, he would just climb out of bed after a while and open a new, I mean, this guy created more jobs in the state of Alabama. I mean, it's insane. His production output, nuts. Secondly, the guy didn't do it for the money. He just wanted to create the best pasta that is, use only four ingredients, or make the blue fish hip, or whatever you name it. So in today's day and age, everybody's about likes and implants and drugs and this, that, the other. Very few people actually do it because they genuinely love training, okay? So that's another thing. Then he admitted one of his biggest failures was that he never became a sous chef, okay? So he always thought of himself as a chef, and that's why he didn't have three stars. So in the body world, it's the same thing. People refuse to go into the learning curve and they think they are Jay Cutler or whatever, and they're not willing to take in information. Yo, bench still works, bro. So they're always going to be stuck and they're never going to be quite what they could be. So on a personal level, this book really speaks to me because God knows I had my crashes and ups and you name it, right? But the one thing we did is we strive for action. We look around here, we have, you know, the best equipment in the city, the best trainers, were the best gym. And the reason we do it, I mean, of course we want to get paid, there's no doubt about it, but because we generally care, we're bodybuilders, we love to train and we want other people to succeed and we love to teach. So when you read Andy Bourdain's book, this guy had such a zest for food and cooking, you know? And that's something that I really miss in the fitness world. Everybody's so like blinders, oh, look at me, I'm so huge, I'm so great. And very few people are willing to share knowledge or have any knowledge. And very people actually do it because they love the sport. Most people are in it for the money, right? They want to get Insta famous, TikTok famous or whatever, and get endorsements, sponsorships, and everything there. And that is actually a very, very sad development because bodybuilding is something that can really enrich people's lives, you know? So without taking away the cocaine and all that, I think if we all are more a little bit like Anthony Bourdain in the sense that we bounce back from failures, we don't blame the judges, the, this, that, the other, that we didn't place well, or we didn't that, get that, but we look into ourselves and say, well, we could have done better. If we admit that we don't really know a whole lot, but we're still learning about muscles, contraction, food, diet, etc., etc., we will get a lot better. And lastly, this is such a great sport. It's awesome. Just do it for the love of training. Whatever comes out of it is a bonus. My God.